Hi, Glenn from the uh, EARC Ham Club, and Natalie's on the other side of the camera, and Natalie Cash. This is a new ham box located over in Kaneohe. This is going to be intended on top of the hill, and uh, this is a weatherproof enclosure with two inches of blue foam with three quarter inch plywood on the inside. It's shied in T111, and it has waterproof uh, lining in between the T111 and two inches of foam and then three quarter inch of plywood on the inside. Operation is very simple. You come, you unlock your door. By the way, this swivels so you can read the numbers right side up or upside down, no problem at all. That comes off. Come here, you flip this up. Before you open it, this little latch here, all this is keep it from rattling in the night. No security or anything, just rattling in the night. So we have that. So you open that and you flip this one out. This door comes up, hold it with one hand. Then over here, you unlatch. There's a door latch on it, just a sliding bolt. And it comes out, and it comes over here. So you can lift this. I can lift this with a couple of fingers. There's nothing particular to it. Inside, I'm leaving the key for this. You put the key in here, put the combination in, put the key, turn it 90 degrees, reset the combination if you so desire, take the key out and then you're set. So you guys can change the combination anytime you see fit. Instructions are written right here on the back to do that with the little key. Okay, and it's a master lock. Features this are the door swing open and hold up the rainproof lid. This is rainproof here, so you don't get anything in. You have four feet here of dry space. You're out of the sun, you're out of the rain. Over here, you have a sliding bolt on the inside. This two by 12 drops down giving you access to your batteries. If we go that way, this totally lifts out like this, and you have access to your batteries down below. So this drops in, slides right over, and when this falls up, it latches such that that cannot be opened up from the bottom. Okay? So flip that back up, latch it back up. Same thing on the other side. We put in commercial metal racks, on here, there's three of them. The third one came in today. We'll drop it off on our next trip over here. They're 16 inches wide and they're four feet long. You have three quarter inch plywood on the back, so you could bolt anything you wanted to to the walls or to the sides, three quarter inch, half inch on the doors, okay? But you could cable around if you wanted to do that. You have screen up here at the top, half inch uh, metal wire mesh, and then with window screen on the inside, okay? You have that across here. You also have it in those back slots. It's on the outside looking up and it's protected by a 1x6 all the way around from any direct blow in. This is a 2x10 up here. You have five stainless steel hinges holding your door on. Everything is lagged in with bolts, uh, light bolts going all the way into your beams. Inside are hurricane clips on all these 2x3s and on the back side you have hurricane clips. Okay. The, um, if I go and close it up, it's a very simple procedure. Reverse it. Take this one. Reach in and lock it. Take the lock out because you want to lock it up. The other one, just take it here. Just close that and drop this down. Come over here and do this. That way it doesn't rattle in the middle of the night. This comes down and she just pops right over here. And your lock goes on, and you're done for the day. You got a rubberized shower lining that's got primer and painted with vinyl paint, flexible paint. You got weather stripping here, like you use on a carpet. It's all aluminum with stainless steel screws on it. Uh, you're capped at the ends to protect the rain blow in, but allow the hot air to vent out. So the cool air can come in the bottom and comes out the top. The screen's there and the screens around the back on the E. You have four inch galvanized flashing all the way around. You have four stainless steel hinges on each of the doors, so it supports the weight very easy. There's a two inch galvanized pipe concreted in. It was here already, so we put a wood post into it and screwed it that. That makes this extremely stable. On the other side over here, if you walk down here, Natalie, mm -hmm. you'll see that I tied to an existing fence post there. It's a two and a half inch post, and I put a two by four going across, securing to the box. So you should be locked solid.
that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Natalie, come around here and show the end view here. You're 30 inches wide, you're four foot tall, board in the back, and that. So you're wrapped up pretty weather tight. <laughs>